Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel guys. Today's video will be a super helpful video guys to any of you guys having a vehicle with alternator. So that means any car guys except electric cars. And in today's video guys, we're going to explain how a bad alternator, actually a good working alternator can drain your car battery, okay? overnight or just in a couple of days guys if you don't drive the car even though the alternator may be showing that it's a good alternator it's charging really good let's say at around 14 volts okay and you will never suspect being a bad alternator we'll explain how a bad alternator can drain your car battery guys what could happen let's say you drive the car it charges the battery everything's perfect you turn it off leave it overnight next morning you are not able to start the car or in a couple of days or three days depending on how strong your battery is and how much it's draining your battery now we removed that alternator out of this Porsche right here but the uh, concept on alternators is exactly the same guys on pretty much any vehicle so stay with us we'll show you how to do that quick introduction we'll have more than 200 videos made on every car we get at the shop guys because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys hopefully we can save you some money let me show you what we'll be using guys to test that alternator and I'll explain what alternator can cause guys uh, how alternator can cause your uh, car battery to die now even though alternator is charging at good voltage guys as I said at around 14 volts it can cause guys uh, your car battery to die why because each alternator guys has it, uh, little devices that are called diodes these diodes guys transfer the electricity from the alternator guys okay they actually make the um, electricity from the alternator to go to the car battery okay uh, they convert it from ac to dc voltage guys and they go only one way to the car battery and if a diode goes bad it's going to let the car battery charge to flow back to the alternator and that way it will discharge slowly now this is guys the alternator right here and okay i'm going to show you now let me flip it this way quick okay this is guys the alternator right here now let me explain to you guys usually on the back side of your alternator you're going to have guys a couple okay a couple cables one is positive from the car battery one goes uh, usually to the dash that tells you how much uh, it's charging or to the ignition switch and you may have a ground wire anywhere on the alternator or just the way the alternator bolts to the car that will be your ground and how you guys test if you have a bad diode if you have a bad diode it's going to discharge your car battery when you don't drive the car so how we do that you need a voltmeter guys and if you're on the market for a good meter check the link guys in the description of the video below this is amazing voltmeter that's the best one we found in that price range so many settings on that thing so many options i go to ohm readings and click twice and there is a diode setting to, to check diodes now i'm going to okay let me just uh, support it right here so you can see the reading perfect now if i guys touch the red wire of the battery post okay right here this is the red one and i touch anywhere okay on the alternator housing but you need to scratch it good, be good because sometimes you may not get good connection I should get guys no communication okay check it out now let me just come right here no communication if I switch and use the black lead on the positive cable and red lead on the housing I should get some reading guys in our case it's about half a volt and if I switch them again I should not get anything at all like that okay let me just focus the camera here uh, a little bit because you cannot see the screen okay otherwise okay it's impossible for you to see so let's come a little bit this way okay perfect so we can block the sunlight reflection because otherwise it's impossible for you guys to see okay the reading so let's check again so okay we're going to hold the voltmeter so you can see better and have no reflection red lead on the positive cable black lead on the housing check it out no reading if i switch them black lead on the positive red lead on the housing i should get about half a volt and if i switch them again i shouldn't get anything that's a good alternator with good uh, uh, with good diodes now if the current goes both ways when we do it it means we have a bad uh, uh, bad diode guys 
And if you remove the cover, usually it has a couple of bolts. Ours has three bolts. You pull it out. You see right here, guys, we have one, two, three, four, five, six diodes, guys, here for that alternator. And these six diodes, uh, you can individually, guys, test them. Pretty simple. You just have the same setting on the meter now, and you test each one of them by touching the diode here and the housing, and you should have no communication. And if you check this way, okay, I'll get about half a volt. So you can check each one of them. If one of them goes both ways, you have voltage, then it's a bad diode and you know how to replace it. And that's it guys, pretty much. So hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you guys having that problem. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.